What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna be freeing my man Kevin Love This guy has been very frustrated with the team as of late and he's been showing his emotions on the court uh, He had an outburst with Kobe Altman the general manager of the Cleveland Cavaliers And it's just time for this man to go. It just really is Cleveland needs to get rid of this guy as soon as possible He's gonna ruin the chemistry on your team and you might as well get something for him while you can because now that Kevin Love we know that Kevin Love wants out of Cleveland. He can post on Instagram how the reports aren't true or whatever. He wants out of there. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in anybody's mind that he wants out of Cleveland. So Cleveland's going to lose a little bit of leverage, but not too much because Kevin Love's on a long-term contract. But Kevin Love is no, like, uh, let's say, Paul George or anything. So you're not going to get, like, five first-round picks for him or anything. So here is the trade that I found on the internet. I thought it was an all right trade. Um... Maybe they could get a little bit more, but this is the trade I did. So Kevin Love, Alfonso McKinney was just a filler. I, I kind of had to throw somebody in there. But the Heat, uh, basically, I traded him to the Heat because I don't want to trade him to the Blazers because every time I've done a Kevin Love traded video, I've always traded him to Portland. I'm not going to do it this time. So James Johnson, Justice Winslow, a first rounder and a second rounder coming over to us for Kevin Love. I thought that was decent value for Kevin Love. Let me know what you guys think. I wouldn't disagree with you if they if you think they should have gave up a little bit more I wouldn't totally be opposed to that so but there is now 36 minutes freed up for anybody so Justice Winslow is most likely be gonna, gonna become the starter now so I don't know what I would do with him in the future honestly he was playing point guard for Miami for a while uh, we'll see how he does a small forward and then we'll uh, make our decision in the offseason but He's not somebody that I, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but I, he's not somebody that jumps off the page for me as somebody I want to continue to play, but he's here for now. Um, let, yeah, we're running nine man rotation. All right. There's one more player. I do want to get rid of that's Tristan Thompson. He's on a one year deal. And, uh, is there anyone else that's on a one year deal? Brandon Knight is, but you know, probably not going to get anything for him. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Del Vdova probably won't get anything for him. Tristan Thompson probably has a little tiny bit of trade value so let's see what we can get for him i don't care what we get i as long as we don't get a long-term contract I, you know i would take a second round pick or something like that we get salmon hill jay crowder if none of these jump off the page then i won't worry about it clarkson let's let's bring him right back no let's not do that um let's see what else we got dwight powell mm, blake griffin i'm not doing that uh i'm not seeing anything actually to be honest Draymond, yeah, none of these are that great. Um, I can't even, th Jabari Parker wouldn't be terrible um, necessarily. You know, he would be a decent uh, player to have, you know, give Cleveland a chance and Atlanta Hawks instead of going to get Drummond to get Tristan Thompson. I don't know how much that would help them. So yeah, you know what? Tristan Thompson is just going to stay here because I'm not really seeing anything that great. So we're going to go ahead and see how this season goes. Obviously, the season isn't going to be that great. But now that we have, uh, we don't even have our pick. That's so irritating. We don't even have our own pick it better be like top protected i think it better be because that would be great if it was i don't know where it would be is it with the celtics no i forgot who is it i don't remember who it's with honestly but hopefully it's got protections on it because i don't know where my pick is and uh hopefully it's got protections top 10 protected even pick okay cool so hopefully we fall in the top 10 and we won't worry about it so we're gonna go ahead and see how the rest of the season goes and hopefully we get our pick back. At the end of the first season, the Lakers prevail over the 76ers to win the 2019-2020 championship. LeBron James is your finals MVP. That is how this season's going to end. But for us, we went 18 64 which is great because we're going to probably get our pick back, I hope. But you never know with the new draft lottery rules. So let's see what our player stats were looking like. So 20 points from Colin Sexton. That's promising. Uh, Garland had 13 and uh, 5. Darius Garland, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him because, uh, honestly, I don't like either of these guys to be my backcourt of the future. I really don't. Uh, there's just something about it. Sexton is just really small and he's supposed to play point guard, but yet he doesn't really assist the ball. Garland, uh, or get assists, I should say. Uh, Garland is, uh, he's just not looked that great this season. He's had his moments, but I don't know, man. We'll have to see what we want to do with this team. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really don't. So we're going to go into this draft lottery and draft best available. I don't care who is available. I'm taking them. So let's see if we get our pick back first and foremost. So we are projected the number one overall pick. And that is exactly what happens. So we could essentially draft anyone we want, which is awesome. All right. Now, for staff signing, John Beeline, JB Bickerstaff, and uh, we're going to fire 
Matthew Stoffer. Wow, I didn't know Michael Stoffer had a brother. But we're going to go with, I guess, Randy Martin here. And I'll keep the coaching staff for now because basically this was kind of a wash season. Nothing great was going to happen anyway. So let's go CFO. We'll grab him. And that's how that's going to end. So for the draft, you're the number one overall pick. And the 24th overall pick. Okay, cool. Can I somehow snag two lottery picks in this draft? Or, yeah, two lottery picks is what I was trying to say. Let's see if I can snag another lottery pick. Let's go to, like, number eight from the Warriors. Let's see if I can snag it. I'll give you the 24th pick, and I'll also give you... Hmm, let's see what else we can give up. Exum. You want Dante Exum? Oh, wow, the Warriors ain't... Okay, this is going to be hard to execute a trade with the Warriors. So let's go somewhere else. Um... Maybe not third overall pick. Let's go to the Pelicans, number nine, maybe. Okay, they're not going to do it for just that, of course. How about we trade a 2023 pick, and we just got another lottery pick. Um, that better not have been a second round pick, and I just messed. Okay, yeah, it wasn't. Okay, so we got two lottery picks, exactly what I wanted. So I'm taking best available player in this draft. So first overall, I'm taking James Wiseman here. Uh, no reason not to. Uh, I haven't gotten him in a while, so we're going to go with James Wiseman. Let's go to the number nine pick overall and see what falls here. And we get Theo. Let's see what Vernon Carey Jr., RJ Hampton. Uh, let's. I got Theo in the last video, so I kind of want to take RJ Hampton, send him to the G League. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna take RJ Hampton because, uh, like I said, I was taking best available, and I'm not sold on my backcourt right now. I'm just not. So James Wiseman and RJ Hampton is going to be uh, the two duos of the future, hopefully. Both 19. But I like to see player options. James Johnson actually accepts, unfortunately. And Zizic accepts. We're going to accept him. And then qualifying offers. Tyler Cook and Dwayne Wade is... Uh, um, I know it's Dean Wade. I said Dwayne on purpose, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and let them go. Let's see what else we got in free agency. What we can do. We're in negative $51 million in cap space. Wow, negative 51. Tristan Thompson, Brandon Knight, John Henson, Del Vadova. I signed Nick Young so I can... Uh, Send a couple players to the G League, but we have $32 million to spend. And once we get rid of James Wiseman as well, we'll have more. So, um, where are you, Mr. James Wise? Or not James, yeah, not James Wiseman. What am I saying? I meant, uh, what, uh, James Johnson, not James Wiseman. James Johnson. Uh, let's see. Wow. I'm, uh, 100% doing that. Thanks for the picks, and you can take him. All right. So, let's see what else we got. Garland and RJ Hampton right now. I think I'm micing RJ Hampton to the G League. Maybe. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Uh, Sexton and Porter Jr. Porter Jr. went to the G League and he'll probably be the backup shooting guard now. Winslow and Osman and Weinler. Uh, I send Weinler to the G League as well. Larry Nass and Wiseman. So I'm not really sold on my forwards at all. I I'm cool with, you know, rocking with these guys for now, but the forwards position I'm not rocking with right now. So let's see if we can upgrade the forward spot. Brandon Ingram would be so amazing, but he, I'm never going to be able to get him. I'm just not never going to be able to get this dude. And the Pelicans are offering him a better deal than anyway. So I'm never going to be able to get Brandon Ingram. I wish I could. I just can't. So uh, Marcus Moore Sr., James Ennis, Iguodala. Yeah, there's no really good small forwards to snag out here uh, that would fit our timeline. I guess we could go like Denzel Valentine, GR3, or any of those guys, but not really liking any of this. So we could give Jabari Parker a one-year deal. He usually scores the ball, scores the rock quite a bit. Uh, he doesn't play any defense, although his perimeter defense is a C- minus on here, which isn't terrible. It could be worse. Um, Carmelo, Burton's, uh, let's see, Christian Wood. Christian Wood actually has an A-plus three-point shot. You know what? I'm going to give Christian Wood a contract. And we're going to see how that goes. So Christian Wood, we're going to give Christian Wood a contract. And then a small forward spot. There's really no great option, so I guess I'll go Joe Harris. We'll sign both those guys for now. Not sold on either of them. They're just going to fill out the forward spots because I don't like either of the forwards that we have right now. And, yep, yeah, so now we got them. But just like that, uh, we got uh, Joe Harris probably going to start. Winslow is on a one-year team option deal, I think. Yes, he is. Okay, and then C.D. Osman is on a long-term contract. And then uh, I meant to go here. Power forward, Larinets, Christian Wood. We'll roll with that. Wiseman Zizic will roll with that. So we got basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. Yeah, so we kind of have a rotation if we want to just roll with this. But there is one more thing I want to try to do, and that was see what Justice Winslow's trade value is. I guess I'll throw in like Dylan Weinler or something like that. Let's see what we get for Justice Winslow. I don't think there's going to be great offers. Yeah, nothing great. So I'll just leave it. All right, so that is 
how this first offseason is going to go. Nothing great. Nothing spectacular. We did draft James Wiseman, which is good. He's going to be a nice center for us uh, going forward. And then um, Larry Nance goes down at one overall. I definitely want to look to trade this dude soon um, because I really don't want him anymore. He's uh, 27 and uh, going to try to go a little bit younger. DJ Wilson, Derek Favors, Motley, Tyreek Evans, Olenek, uh, no one's in the well. The Ivan Robb. I don't want to trade a first round pick though. I would have been all right with that, but the first just kind of turned it off. Uh, XM and a first. I'm not totally opposed to that. Let's see what else we got. Mm, Josh Jackson, Alonzo Trier. We give them Larry Nance to give me Trier. Uh, that's okay. I'm not, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm not going to worry about it right now. That's not, it wasn't a terrible trade. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'm sorry. I just slapped my desk for some reason. If you heard that bang, you probably did, but I'm happy with the way this team's looking right now. We are just slowly building towards the better team we want to be. So what I'm going to do is send to the end of this very next season. And basically we're going to see, actually, let's look at the rotation together first. Let's look at the rotation together first. That way we get that out of the way 2021 draft class get that spot on and we can look at the training camps together this is the part i hate uh usually why i end up don't showing this part because it freezes it's kind of irritating it just keeps freezing so that's why i usually skip this part but all right we got some time today because that offseason didn't last very long we're gonna go rj hampton on top potential i thought he'd go up to an a plus but he didn't and let's go to sexton i guess because and he didn't go up either, so that's great. All right, let's go to our rotation and see what we got. So we got Garland, Sexton, Winslow, Larry Nance, James Wiseman, Christian Wood, Joe Harris, Ch Chetty Osman, Kevin Porter Jr., RJ Hampton's fallen out of the rotation. So, like I initially thought, I'm probably going to send RJ Hampton to the G League just for this season. That way he can just become a beast next year. And then I kind of wanted to start... Christian Wood and Joe Harris, and I think that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna space the floor for my dudes out there. And uh, we're gonna go something like this. We're gonna go like, leave the rotation a little bit thinner on the bench. Um, we'll probably give him 27, and then we'll give Joe Harris about 30, like, or 28 maybe. Christian Wood 30, let's give Jay's Wiseman like 34. Give Garland 30, and then we'll give Colin Sexton like 32. Okay, we'll go with that. I think we're gonna rock with this. And uh, our proficiency is a two and a half star grit and grind. Yeah, we're gonna try to go up if we can. Seven seconds goes to three stars, so I'm gonna move it to seven seconds. Other than that, guys, let's just see how this season winds up. Surprisingly enough, at a 39 and 43 record, we actually made the playoffs. Not too surprising, because usually in the Eastern Conference, that can sometimes get you into the playoffs. Uh, 38 and 44 has gotten in before. I think like 36 and 46 has gotten in before. But here were the player stats. Wow, Colin Sexton, not gonna lie, pretty nice. And Garland actually didn't do too bad here either. 14 and seven, kind of a nice support player out there, but Sexton with 23 points and uh, Wiseman out there with 25. Uh, Sexton shooting fishing from the field and shooting uh, decent from three. Actually, that's uh, Garland, I meant Sexton. Yeah, Sexton, 40% 40, 40 from three. Can't complain, that's not too bad. Uh, Joe Harris did his thing also, um, shooting 40% from three as well, attempting five a game. Christian Wood, let's see, he attempted uh not very many shooting 32 percent and uh winslow and larry nance kind of did their thing so let's go ahead and see if we can pull off an upset an uh, upset against boston i seriously doubt it but you know what we'll give it our best uh college try let's see we're down 3-0 and yeah we got eliminated in four games to the boston celtics so now we got a whole nother offseason to go through i plan on boosting this team up as much as i can i'm gonna go out there and sign Someone's stupid, and uh, hopefully they come here. If Giannis is available, I'm offering him a contract. If Kawhi's available, I'm offering him a contract. We're just going to go all out. We're going to try to see if we can get one of those guys. Um, or if there's a different player I think fits better, I I'll try that. But let's see. We got the Celtics and the Warriors, and it looks like the Warriors are going to win the championship in seven games over the Boston Celtics. But to be honest, this is Cleveland, so we're probably not going to get, you know, realistically, none of those guys would come here, but... Because uh, we haven't had a player since LeBron James, you know, a big market player. But we are projected. Uh, none of those picks because obviously we made the draft. And obviously now the Pelicans get our pick because they didn't get it last year. But we do get the Milwaukee pick, which is nice, I guess. We do at least have a first round pick. Staff signing. John Beeline. I'm going to fire my man. And I'm going to fire my assistant. I'm just going to get a better head coach. 
Mike D'Antoni and my man Trent Peterson, of course, always got to go with the same coaching staff. If you can, let's go to the draft. And we got the 24th and the second round pick, 13th overall pick. Um, Kind of want to trade Larry Nance and Christian Wood. And let's just see what we can get for these guys. Rozier, okay, no, 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 I'm not liking that. All right, well, let's trade Larry Nance at least. And a first, let's see what we get for him. Meritage, Marcus Moore Sr., Y Powell, Maxi Kleba, a first round pick, and we get Davis Burtons. I'm not totally opposed to that. Burtons would be a decent. I'm going to do this. We're going to get Davis Burtons, and uh, we're going to trade our pick now. Don't really see anybody I really need in this draft. So uh, we're going to Mark Williams in the second round. Second round, not going to worry about him. Winslow, we're going to accept because I kind of want to use him in a trade if I can. And qualifying offers, uh, Dwayne Wade is here again, but we don't need him. So let's go ahead and move on from that. Zizic, let's go to, okay, we have $22 million. Let's see, Zizic, Dwayne Wade, and Tyler Cook. We're going to announce all of those guys. Winslow, look how many one-year contracts we have right now. So we have so many players we could, you know, chop off this team. Garland and RJ Hampton are going to run point guard. That's going to stay that way. Uh, Sexton and Porter Jr. Sexton has proved to me he can be a scorer, so I'm going to leave him. And then we have... Small forward galore that we don't really need all those guys and power forward galore. We don't need it all of them. So I'm still not sold on the forwards is basically my problem. So let's see what forwards we have out here. We have Kawhi, Paul George. Let's see what other forwards we have. Hayward, Jonathan Isaac, uh, John Collins. Okay, I definitely want to get my hands on John Collins if I can. Joe Randall Kuzma. Um, I will leave the forwards. We I'll, I'll roll with the small forwards we have right now. But I definitely want to try to get uh, John Collins. I'm not going to actually get Kawhi and Paul George. It just doesn't seem right. You know, I just, Paul George coming to Cleveland just sounds kind of weird. Uh, you know, now that uh, no one's here with him. Obviously, Tatum would be awesome. I wish it was easier to get some of these restricted free agents because it would just, like, the video, the way you could make your teams could just, like, be awesome. But I'm going to offer John Collins a contract. Let's see what else we can find. Um, And then I'm going to offer kuzma a contract as well i'm gonna offer him like a four year 110 million dollar deal i guess i prefer john collins but if we don't we'll get kuzma so let's see and we get john collins no they do not match that is what i'm talking about so john collins welcome to cleveland you're gonna be our starting power forward immediately and uh that's probably gonna be our big free agency signing here so john collins and then i kind of want to look at team intel because we have so many picks that we could probably use and so many players the Heat are selling. Jimmy Butler would be kind of nasty if we could go grab him. They are selling. Um, let's see what else we can find. Um, buying, buying. Uh, let's see, let's see. Contending, buying, buying, contending, buying. Uh, selling. The Bulls are selling. They don't really have a good small forward, though, I can think of. So the Miami Heat are selling. I'm going to try to get Jimmy Butler. I don't know if I'm going to get him. I really don't want to get them, but the fact that they're selling, I've never seen the Miami Heat selling, and they'll say that the, none of their players are untouchable. So let's see what we get. We could throw Christian Wood in there. We could throw Davis Bertans in there, and we need about 11 more million dollars. We still have Larry Nance. No, we traded him. That's right. Uh, jo Justice Winslow. We'll give you Justice Winslow back. Okay, and I'll give you like every first I can give you. Let's see if they'll do it. Okay. Jimmy Butler, welcome to Cleveland, my friend. Not um, not what I thought was going to happen, but we got him. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we basically need like a backup center. So uh, by default, Osmond and Dylan Weindler, we're going to see what we can get for you. Uh, backup center. I honestly, the only reason I actually went out there and just grabbed uh, get Myers Leonard and Bismack uh, let's do this. Let's get both of these guys and the only reason I went to go get Jimmy Butler is Because I've never gotten them before and the fact that they were selling because I've never seen them selling before I just had to do it So, uh, we'll probably move Myers Leonard to back up power forward and this team is gonna be set uh, This kind of makes no sense now with Jimmy Butler here, but uh, we got a veteran and we got a young team around him. So We'll have to see how it goes. Uh, the sky's the limit. The sky is the freaking limit with this team. So we're going to simulate to the end of next season. I'm going to show the rotation at the end. And uh, we should be a higher seed in the playoffs and potentially even win this championship. And then I can yell at the end of the video that Cleveland misses for you. At the end of the last season, LeBron James is our most valuable player. RJ Hampton is your rookie of the year, averaging 18 points per game on this team, which is what I like to see. 
Sixth man of the year goes to Brandon Ingram. That doesn't, you don't see that very often. Anthony Davis is your defensive player. And OB Toppin is your most improved. John Beeline is your coach of the year. As we went 55. Oh, wait. That's not my coach anymore. I forgot. We went 55 and 26. Or 56 and 26 with a different coach. Okay. All NBA first team. All NBA second team. And all NBA third team. And all defense first team. And all defensive second team. We do get Jimmy Butler here. All right. First team. RJ Hampton. And that's about it. So, we are the first seed in the East. This was the rotation we were running. So, we had RJ, Sexton, Butler, Collins, Wiseman, Leonard off the bench, Kevin Porter Jr., Garland, and Bismack Biombo. Our proficiency was at a four and a half star at seven seconds, which is awesome. So, definitely kept it that way. Very happy that we were able to get a four and a half star system proficiency. And here are this in of this season stats. We had 22 from Wiseman, 22 from Sexton, 18 from Hampton, and 15 from Butler. 12 from Collins, and yeah, 10. So Collins, you know, double-double. Almost got a block a game. Wiseman got two, and Sexton with 22, which is awesome. So with Jimmy Butler on the team, it is awesome that these guys were still able to average 20 points. But we were facing the New York Knicks in the first round. This should be a championship season, but you never know with 2K. We're up 2-1 on the Knicks, up 3-1, and can we beat them in five? We do not. In six? Yes. Okay, now we get to play Milwaukee, who did retain Giannis Antetokounmpo. We're up 1-0 on them, up 2-0, up 3-0, and we, nope, 3-1, beat them in five. Okay, now we get to face the Philadelphia 76ers, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, 2-0, 3-0, and we swept them. Okay, we're in the NBA Finals. Let's go ahead and play Minnesota. So Towns and Wiggins have led the Timberwolves to the playoffs. Interesting. Let's see what they got. Towns, Wiggs, Covington, Parker. Uh, Jonathan Kuminga and yeah, so they got an interesting little team on their hands, but let's see if we can beat them We're up 1-0 2-1 3-1 and just like I promised Cleveland This is for you We have won a championship. Okay, that's enough. All right 25 points per game from RJ Hampton in the finals. That's awesome. We have won the championship so that I'm gonna end it there Uh no Kevin love equals a championship with this team. So Thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed it. But this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.